You guys are gonna have to bear with me. I'm in my laundry room, as fun as that is. This is a Samsung EcoDry dryer. Uh, I'm standing in front of the washing machine, which is currently running. This dryer, however, appears to have a serious problem with it. So that, that thump. There's actually a cracked weld on the drum itself. Apparently the drum can crack so bad that it will actually catch your clothes in it and tear your clothes. It will also catch lint and the potential to build up lint and or cause a fire is there, I guess. So what we're going to do uh, is actually tear it apart and see if we can get to where this cracked weld is at. And I'm going to attempt to re-weld it. See it open up right there. So this is the crack, and you can see it's, I don't know, it's a good mm, two and a half, three inches long. There's two rollers down here at the bottom. You can see it open up, seal back up again. Okay, dryer disassembled. There are concerns with fire hazard with this crack. Uh, the crack allows lint to build up in the back of the dryer, potentially getting onto the electrical element or electrical parts and causing a fire. So this is the inside of the dryer. And you can see here all this lint that's built up. So this is the electric heater element. And I've got lint build up on top of that electric element because it's been coming through that crack over time. So you've got your your guide wheels here, and I've got more lint built up down here. Um, quite a bit, actually. So it, it's really good that we decided that we caught this and decided to go after trying to fix it. I'm gonna drill a couple of real small holes. So this crack starts here, runs all the way in, and it tees right here and goes out both directions. So I'm gonna try and find the end both ways and put, a, put one here to stop it from continuing down that seam. We're going to go ahead and get the welder set up and see what we can do. So it crystallized quite a bit and I got some pretty bad distortion, but I basically, with this really thick rod, I, I basically melted the rod as I moved the torch, uh, trying to get some, some penetration there. I'm going to go ahead and try to remelt a little bit of this and see what we can do. Thank you. 
Got the welding done. I'm going to show you what that looks like, give you a, a up close shot of the welding. Uh, it's not as good as I was hoping for, but it's better than it could have turned out. So the, the crack, we drilled a hole here and welded back this direction. We drilled a hole over here, we welded back that direction, and then we welded down and out. Uh, there was another hole here that I drilled and then welded up this way. Um, this drum is super, super thin, and, and the rod I had was way too big for this. Although the rod allowed me to light up on the rod and then melt the weld in. I, I ground a lot of this out to ground it flush. It's not perfectly flat. It's going to be hard to show you guys this, but there's a small... You might be able to see my finger go up and down as I go over there, go over this thing. Maybe. Oh, there you go. You can kind of see it. It's going to be better than it was. Basically, I think it'll probably last me another six months, maybe a year. Uh, a new drum is 470 bucks. The dryer is 1500. This repair cost me nothing so far, minus some time. So if I get some more time out of it and save me some money, I'm happy with that. Film it or not have it happen? Action. Oh, Jesus. Well, I don't know if you guys can hear that or not. I'm going to crank up the volume. So it's, there's a slight thud still, but I think that it's way better than what it was. But it's up and operational at a minimum, so it's going to last us a little more while longer. And considering my wife will just go buy a new set because she'll need a matching set versus just buying a new dryer. So that'll cost me $3,500, I'm sure. Um, because it's in a laundry room and nobody sees it, but it's got a match. But anyway. So in any case, I appreciate you guys watching. Hope you got something out of this. Uh, maybe check out some of these other links. Hit that subscribe button down in the bottom here. That always helps me out. Check out the Happy Wife, Happy Life series. And maybe check out some of these other links I'll leave on the, uh, on the page here. Thanks for watching.